The Emperor Li Shimin had twenty-one recorded daughters. Here, I add the word "recorded" because the extra number of princes were more than twenty-one. Some princes died when they were little kids and didn't got the princess title. Those princes were not included in twenty-one. In Li Shimin's twenty-one daughters, fifteen of them were born by lower-rank concubines. Their biological mother wasn't recorded in historical documents. Four of them were born by Li Shimin's beloved wife, the Empress Zhang Shun. In today's video. Let's see the stories of Li Shimin and Zhang Shun's oldest daughter, the Princess Chang Le. Chang Le 公主 the Princess Chang Le was called Li Li Zhi. She was born by the Empress Zhang Shun, who was Li Shimin's beloved wife. The Princess Chang Le was the oldest daughter of the Empress Zhang Shun. But was the fifth daughter of Li Shimin. When Li Li Zhi was born, the Empress Zhang Shun already gave birth to boys. Without the pressure of giving birth a boy, the Empress Zhang Shun and Li Shimin truly enjoyed the birth of this little princess. In 628, Li Li Zhi was only eight years old. Li Shimin gave her the princess title, the Princess Chang Le, which means always happiness. Four years later, the Princess Chang Le was ready to get married. Li Shimin decided to give Princess Chang Le huge amount of treasures as his dowry, which was one time more than Princess Yongjia. Who was Li Shimin's half sister? Although Princess Chang Le was Li Shimin's favorite daughter, but she getting much more glory than her aunt wasn't proper in ancient Chinese culture. So Wei Zheng stood out and publicly crit criticized Li Shimin's decision. Later. Li Shimin told this to the Empress Zhang Shun. The Empress felt Li Shimin was so lucky to have such honest officer. To encourage Wei Zheng, the Empress Zhang Shun gave Wei Zheng many money and clothes as rewards. After one year preparation, the Princess Chang Le officially got married. Her husband Zhang Shunchong was the oldest son of Zhang Shun Wuji and his wife. Zhang Shun Wuji was the Empress Zhang Shun's full brother. In ancient Chinese culture, we call this kind of marriage "qin shang jia qin," which means becoming the relatives twice. This kind of marriage was really popular in ancient China. The Princess Chang Le and Zhang Shunchong had a great relationship. In my opinion, in Tang Dynasty, women had much more freedom than Ming and Qing dynasties. So, as cousins, the Princess Chang Le and Zhang Shunchong. Highly possible already know each other, or already in love. In 643, the Empress Chang Le was sick. Although Li Shimin sent the best doctors to treat his favorite daughter, but he still lost his daughter. The princess died when she was only 23 years old. The Princess Chang Le and Zhang Shunchong had one son. In 659, 16 years after Princess Chang Le's death, Zhang Shun Wuji lost in the political battles 
with the Emperor Gaozong and Wu Zetian. Zhang Xuanchong lost all his positions and noble titles. He was banished to Lingnan, and no records about his ending. In 1986, the Princess Changle's tomb was opened by researchers. The tomb already was stolen, so all valuable treasures were gone. The Princess Changle's body was burned by grave robbers. Now, the Princess Changle's tomb was open to public. In this tomb, the visitors can see the extremely beautiful wall paintings. Besides, Princess Changle's tomb had three gates, which is the Empress standard. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.